Welcome to Mogul To Task Manager, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Task Manager, a legally distinct game show that I run on my Twitch channel at Ludwig's house now. I live at Ludwig's house. I've moved in. Me and Rochelle are divorced. It's not the intro I wanted for the episode, but you know what? I think it's good for me to be honest to you so that we can develop parasocial relationships and eventually you will give me money. H how am I doing, Dr. Battle? You're doing great. If you don't know what Task Manager is, chat, it's a game show that I invented that has no similarities to anything ever. I invented it. I had a spring of intuition and inspiration after watching a British game show, a panel show called Taskmaster, where five comedians compete for a trophy. Now, I'm American, and I don't like trophies. I like cold, hard cash. And the winner of today's episode is going to win half half of it half of this because this is a hundred dollars and i only give out fifty dollars unless you know what i'll give a hundred dollars to today's winner because i'm gonna people is just gonna take this home with me this is the, what the winner of today's show will get if you don't know how it works i put challenges on my twitter every week you guys do the challenges you film the challenges we react to the challenges and i give out points the winner of the week gets the money, $100 this week. The losers get to be on the stream. And today we were hosted by Ludwig, so they'll get even more viewers and clout, and it'll be very, very fun. These are the challenges this week. Peel an orange. Fastest time wins. You may not use your hands to peel the orange. Choose a number. Most median number among submissions wins. And finally, flip something upside down. Most surprising thing that is now upside down wins ladies and gentlemen let's start the show this is task manager my game show the first task peel an orange you may not use your hands let's go okay stance um, Vander we'll Bear's first. Vander we'll Bear on. has won an episode of task manager so this is a returning champion i'm excited to see what he does don't want to use any like gloves or anything because that would be that's just using your hands isn't it it is um, thank you for not cheating go in elbows and face Oh, oh hey, 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 chat. Okay, I, I forgot. <laughs> Maybe a disclaimer. Don't hold a knife with your teeth when doing this. I should have maybe, I should have maybe put that in the task. Just don't, don't do the thing that you're about to see on stream. Please stop. Uh, how did this guy win an episode? I don't like that. <laughs> I, I actually hate that. Nine Near minutes. The end, I started getting the hang of it. <laughs> hey, once he got the foot involved, I think he really figured it out. All right, let's go, Lolm. Is that a is that a stick? This is the worst task idea you just we've want ever an excuse had. Excuse to film yourself peeling an orange with a bayonet blade. Oh, it's a bayonet blade. I did not expect to see as many feet as I saw today. Orange has been peeled. Nine minutes. They tied, and he had a bayonet. Okay, holding with one knife and cutting with a second knife, actually goaded idea. He's double caked up. Do we count that? Because he was using his hands with a knife. First guy used his mouth and his foot and his elbows. I'm gonna say first guy, three points. Second guy, two points. They used their hands, but they used a bayonet. Using two knives is fine. You're kind of like sashimiing that son of a bitch. And then I'm gonna try to scoop it up with the spoon. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, a grapefruit technique. Is time. Beep. Bam. I am actually very surprised by how much orange there is not in there. Did he just peel an orange backwards? I think he did. I'm going to give him three points. A minute and 58 seconds. Going to go for a tried and true tactic. Okay. Is this an orange or is this a cutie? Is this a clementine? Ready? Three. Two, All right, Curly. One. <laughs> it's like watching <sighs> someone vomit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wasn't going to give a lot of points, but I will say this man looked at the camera and gave a big smile and laugh. I love that. Uh, not an orange, but no hands. I'm going to say going for the Clementine Gambit was flying too close to the sun, chat. I am going to only award... Two points. He used only his mouth. He did not touch it, but it was not an orange. That's a two-pointer. I don't use that peeled. I mean, you got more in your beard than on the table. <laughs> Can't. Now I looked at the definition of peel. Okay, pedantic already. And it's remove the outer covering 
of a fruit or vegetable. Because yeah. most people would assume, right, you just you, you take it in bits and peel it, but we can't use our hands. So I'm going to destroy the orange. Okay. So I've got a... <laughs> the big rock gambit. Got it. Oh! <laughs> what a splatter. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a little slow motion for the fans. Oh, no, that's not peeling. <laughs> Oh, oh, even I don't think that's counting as peeled. Okay, well. Okay, plan number two. Okay, plan number two. A knife knife gambit. Ooh, okay, there's not good much technique. Left. I've nearly peeled it. I believe Kant's works in a bar or a pub. This is good cutting technique. Damn, that's one hell of a peeled orange. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's the love of a mother. Look at her. She cheered. She cheered for her boy. No wasted orange at all. No wasted orange. Those are clean peels. Well, obviously, it's all. all I bad. never thought of the double knives gambit. Uh, Kans, I like the idea of the rock. Unfortunately, it did not separate the citrus from the citrus peel. I am going to award you three points. <gasps> oh, shorter. Jonathan Shorter did not start the show on episode one, but Jonathan Shorter has weaseled their way into our lives and into our brains. Jonathan Shorter has found the ways to scam me and prove that he is truly the task manager himself. I am very excited for what we are about to see, chat. So I started out trying to be smart with a knife on a stick, but it didn't work. A lot of and wobble. A little bit just blended the inside. So oh. then I shift to try to use my feet <laughs> and an orange peeler on a new orange, but that doesn't work. No, that so doesn't work. So then I get a new orange, just stab it with the stick, and I go to town with my mouth. <laughs> this is like some uh, Bear grill survivor man. He put the orange on a stake that was tied to his wrist, and he tried to chew around it struggle because it keeps shifting the ties are loose so i'm having to hug it with my forearms uh -huh. but eventually after three minutes and 31 terrible seconds there's orange juice everywhere it stings my eyes are burning but i did it he did it he did not use his hands a single bit and he was faster than most people jonathan shorter short for shortenson i am gonna give you Four points. Gizmo. Orange nine of nine. <laughs> I like when they've already done a bunch of attempts and you can see the sadness in their eyes, chat. One more time for the fans. Orange nine of nine. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore, Dad. You got to do it. It's on Stan's stream. Uh, editing. Tweezers? Me jumping in here, Raph. Fuck you, Stans. It is quarter to one in the morning. All uh -huh. I taste is orange peel. My mouth is dying. I hate this. I hate this challenge. 38 seconds is really good. I think that's a three. They use tweezers to hold it in place, which I think we would count as a three-er. Is that a, is is that a clementine? One in the morning. All I, I taste think it is might be. We're going to go down to two points. Uh, no extra point for the fuck you, Stans, but I do respect it. Yeah, two then. He's peeling... Uh -huh. An orange Can't soda without using his hands. There, I peeled an orange. Oh, oh no. he I didn't do the orange soda. He did the orange on the box. An or <gasps> this man peeled an orange chat and it was very fast and he did not use his hands. He peeled an orange off the box. Points is points. Four. I'm going to give it a four. Definition of peel specifies fruit. He did. He peeled an orange off a box. An orange peel. I will now peel from Jody. An orange. <laughs> oh no. An orange. I feel so bad every week giving Jody less points. Because she's a queen, she's a champion. The kite gambit. But that is not an orange! That's not an orange man! Jody, I know you're in contention for winning the whole season. I legally have to give that one point. Now I have an intense phobia of oranges. <laughs> that can't be true. So the Norwegian word for an orange is an apple scene. Oh, we're learning chat an apple scene. The start of that, apple, is how I misspelled apple in first grade. <laughs> and thus, an orange is an apple. This probably will not be the fastest way, but I'm pretty 
You're using your hands, Hanna! Hanna, what are you doing? Sure, it will be the most beautiful way. <laughs> okay, I like to give one point for participation so that more people do the show, so that more people take part in the show, so that I have more fun. But you just peeled an apple with your hands. You did the opposite at every single step. I have to give it zero points. I have to. Not an orange, used your hands, and lied about the spelling of apple. I, I, I'm so sorry, Hedda. <laughs> orange. Wait, wait. Hey, am I taking crazy pills? Yeah, uh, what do you mean? Why are people just using their hand? Bad at tasks. But that's like, there's not very much text in it. And like, the text says you can't use your hands. Yes. And then they used their hands. I'm gonna give that one zero. That one just felt defiant. Worse than Jody's where they just ripped it off. Zero points for com buffing. Falcon Lover is using gloves? Socks? Maybe socks on the hands? Now, when we were preparing for this task chat, I looked at Dr. Battle and I looked at Sheep and I said, hey, what if they just put gloves on? And then they were like, well, we'll just disqualify them, right? And I went, yeah, we'll just disqualify them or we won't put them in the video. I think that Dr. Battle wanted me to do one thing and one thing only. And that is keep my pimp hand strong, chat. I need to come in here and I need to slap down the law. I need to make sure that people know that you can't just put your hands in some socks and peel an orange and get points. So I am going to give it nil pois. French would be point, not pois. What's nil pois? Is it is this a different language or is it nothing? I swear I've heard nil pois before. Nil pois, French, no points. What are you talking about? It's right there. It's really nil pois. What the fuck are you guys? You guys are, you're. Is Lubbock on the phone? He's French. You speak French, right? Uh, say the phrase no points in French. You mean nil pois. Nil pois. Nil pois. Yeah, that works as well. That works as well. And that was your first choice, right? No. <laughs> okay, well, uh, sorry, you're breaking up. You never did say that I had to peel the entire orange, nor did you say that I couldn't pre cut it. Chat, am I angry today or am I in a good mood? He pre-cut it, but didn't peel it. But he pierced it, which I was angry about earlier. And he didn't even do it all the way. Okay, you know what? There's a world where maybe I give something to you. But the fact that the entirety of the orange is sticking to the peel... <laughs> that is not... That is not peeled. This is not peeled. And I have one thing to say. And one thing only, chat. You Type it in chat if you know it. It is the only way that real Frenchmen say no points. Nil pois. I'm sorry. Nil, nil pois. Zero points. Big man. <laughs> chat, if you don't know, this guy calls big man every episode. And it doesn't always work. Last week, they spent hours trying to throw a pencil into a trash can, and the task was to throw a pencil into a mug. Everything we tried to mess with the wording failed, so... Nothing else worked. Oh, no. Go. Oh, no. You spent a full day trying to get a writing utensil in a trash can? <laughs> Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> this is nice. Time now. This orange has been peeled. Two weeks in a row? Dude! Bad deal, dude! You've gotta read the task! Just read the task! You tried to set up a scam and then you use your hands. Yeah, next time call Big Man and tell him to read the task. Notice the Z has also won an episode before. My hands to peel the orange. Big money. Hey, she's back. Uh-huh, peeling. Get your fingers in there. All right, but see, Sandra probably expecting someone to do some shit like this. So if you want to go ahead and put the peel back on for me. And... <laughs> okay. Oh, please don't tell me he throws or shows feet. All right, but I think we can go faster. 
<laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, thank God, thank God. Oh, she's she's gluing it back on. Oh, Lady and the Tramp. I think that we can go even faster, though. <laughs> oh, the blender. Man, I like it's still just like one solid fucking... <laughs> <laughs> just a laugh. Keep... Uh, I like it. Handless blender. It's not a four in the way that Jonathan Shorter got a four. I'm going to give this one a three. I think, I do think it's a three. Ah, fuck it. It's a four. It's a so four. It's like... Danesykins. Danesykins has had some really good attempts at tasks over the season. All right. Drill. Put the battery pack in. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a decision about that. Ah! Ah! What the fuck did I just see? <laughs> He's got a peeler and a drill situation. He throws it up, sticks it on the drill. It does penetrate the skin. Setup isn't peeling. Yeah, but if you like stuck a knife into the peel and you're like, hey, maybe something's happening here. I'm going to subtract only one point for that because I think that he didn't necessarily peel it, but he did do setup that would have been made harder if he had to use his elbows or his forearms. I am going to give this a four. I think that if Danesykins had placed this on there with forearms or elbows, then I would probably give it five, if not six, because I love the use of the drill, not using your hands. This is a four point bomb. Orange, you're glad we started with that task? Let's see what comes next after these ads. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Don't know why though. Choose a number. Most median number among submissions wins. Everyone submits a number and the most median of the numbers will win. It's so simple. Just choose the median number, chat. Come on. And so we are going to pan back and forth from numbers that are not the median numbers until we get there. And we're going to see all the losers who did not pick the most median number. Like a Butterosu who picked two. How in the world is two going to be the median number? Seven, not the right number. Crime time, five, five, five. Getting closer, I think. Shorter pick 10. Oh, shorter. They, they called me a madman. No. <laughs> Why is there a video? They called me a madman? This man is not going to pick a number. This man only does the opposite of what the task says. He's going to write the letter F on the board and then walk away. I figured it out. The most median number. They said it was impossible. I said I couldn't do it. I said I couldn't do it. The most median number. It's, it's 419. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't though. Nice try. 88? No. <gasps> Oh, lots of 69s. Oh my God, look at how many people pick 69. There's a thought process there. You are all out. Notice the Z Danesykins can't. We got a lot of people getting their heads clicked on this one. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I lied. They won? Oh, the other people lost. Hold. I'm dumb. Psych. The people who pick 69 won. <laughs> There was just a lot of 69s, which means that like there's a better chance of 69 being the number. Three points and give everyone else zero. I'm, I'm seeing, uh, we've got a breaking news. This is probably gonna breaking get a news, breaking anyway news. Huh? I said breaking news. What's up? You posted the breaking news. Well, I, I wasn't sure if we were going to talk about it or not. The uh, data set was a little bit inaccurate. Yeah, well, you're going to see the oh. leaderboard update right now. <laughs> because one of the players in first is not in first. He didn't send 69 chat. Unfortunately, notice the Z sent 69,420, kicking him out of the group. But 69, I presume, is still the median number. But it was the edge 69 that won. So in theory, Wait, the edge 69 won? Yeah. Then it could have kicked to nine, not 69. Was, yeah, because there were nine numbers, and four 69s got crossed off, the four big numbers got crossed off, and then 69 remained. If the winner was an edge 69, numbers. that means that the person above 69 could have won. Uh, it's 70. Oh, is it actually? It is. Oh, it did go the other direction. Who is the winner with 70? 
Uh, 5K Jacob and a long username that is long both put 70. 5K Jacob and a long username that is long. I will be giving you both four points. Take away the three from the other winners. Flip something upside down. Most surprising thing that is now upside down wins. Oh, a human being. Um, man, I didn't think of it, which makes me feel kind of stupid. I'll give you two points for an upside down man. 5K Jacob. Don't mind me. Just wanted my favorite streamer. Look who it is. It stands. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, look at the time. Oh, <laughs> was it the clock or the monitor? What is funnier? What is more surprising? I think the clock is supposed to be surprising because he pans up. Semi surprising. I'll give that three. Stands. What's up? I got some bad news. Oh, no. Did you know that, according to ASBCA, a significant number of stray animals are lost pets with no proper In identification? The arms if the saddens of the angels. Now, let's turn that frown upside down. With some more hopeful <laughs> statistics. Woo! Did you know that since the 1970s, pet ownership rates have increased by more than 300%. Now that is not something to clown around about. <laughs> he wore a clown suit. I am going to give Trash Bill five points. I did not expect him to turn my smile into a frown and then flip that upside down. Holy shit. I've been mentally blended. And he taught me some fun facts about pets and how much better we're doing. Yo, Stans. Uh, what's up? It's what's me, up, Truth Main. Main. Uh, and I've got my trusty Scrabble board here. Okay. So, uh, you're yep. probably expecting me to like flip the board or something and then say, I bet you weren't expecting me to flip the board because I love Scrabble so much. <laughs> I was expecting literally that verbatim. Uh, unfortunately, if you were expecting that, you'd be wrong and stupid because- <laughs> I'm wrong and stupid. Because, wait, what the fuck is going on? I can't read this because I flipped the script. That's right. I flipped the script uh, and not only did I- This man just flipped the fucking script on me. I flipped the physical script, Stans, mm -hmm. but I'm actually flipping the metaphorical script, the proverbial script as well, because Stans, you have 10 minutes, only 10 minutes to flip something upside down and it better surprise me. So that's it, I, I flipped the script upside down in two different ways. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Stop spitting. He'll never even no. Yeah, I'll give you a five. I like that I got to do a task. I think that keeps movement and it makes the YouTube video flow better because someone just talking to the camera, like what am I, a fucking react tuber? Getting up, moving around, doing some things. I think it's really good for the content. So I'll give you five points, fuck it. Oh, a big juicy CRT. Nice, those are heavy. I like that. I'll take a CRT gambit. And people on YouTube who maybe don't know about Melee would be very surprised that you have a CRT in your house and that you flipped it. So I will give you three points. Do not press the button. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Jo shorter. Oh, no. The world has been flipped. <laughs> it was so much pomp for so little circumstance. Okay, he's on his computer. There's a button that says, do not press beautiful lighting. Oh, he doesn't want to press it. It's the Inception theme song. <laughs> I like it. It's an editing fuck. It's like a classic situation. Run a little skit on me. It did not astound me. So I will say that that's a three pointer. I liked it a lot. All right, we've got the tape measure. I'm gonna put this down. Okay. Next time you see, you notice the donor office on the right side? The donor on the left side because I flipped my door upside down. It's not attached. It's here. You didn't expect that coming. That's a surprise. <laughs> this man is like I told him that the only way I don't murder his family is if he wins Taskmaster. My door upside down. <laughs> the energy the is on the there. Side, the door on the left side because I flipped my door upside down. It's not attached. It's here. You didn't expect that coming. That's a surprise. That was a surprise. You're right. I'm going to go ahead and give you three points. It was a surprise. Maybe more if you didn't scare the shit out of me. Well, uh, as you can see, I have my computer screen upside down. 
Okay. You might not think that's very interesting, and that's okay, because it's not really upside down. I just took a screenshot, I flipped it upside down, everything is normal. Except, I lied to you again. My monitor is actually upside down, and I have it flipped to match the fact that it's upside down. Double misdirection. Except you were actually just watching a video on my other older monitor, which is also upside down. What the fuck just happened to me? Did I just get Now You See me That was not a monitor, that was a video of another monitor? I'm so very confused. Except, it's actually not upside down. The camera is. <laughs> the ca what? You threw! You threw! The camera was upside down? That's the level one! The people with the upside down camera got like a one! Maybe I don't understand it. <laughs> I want to give it a three, but then you guys are going to get your freaking panties in a twist. And so I'll, I'm going to give it a four just so you guys shut the hell up. You know what I mean? Flipping something upside down does not need to be physical. You can flip the concept of something on its head and it can make the world upside down. Big man. Okay, this is, this is my show. <laughs> he, <laughs> he edited himself into Cameron. my show. Why did he flip upside down though? So he stole my life. He stole my show. Did the show get flipped? Hello and welcome to Task Manager. Oh, is this gonna be a 40 minute video, the whole show? If it is, you get six points. Our first task was to flip something upside down. The most surprising thing that is now upside down wins. Oh, he's, he's, he's redoing the theme song. That's cute. How, how far do you think he's gonna go with this? I mean, yeah, it's pretty clever. Flipping the idea of task manager upside down. Flipping the task manager upside down. That's uh, pretty surprising. Yeah, you know what? Let's start strong. Five points. I... <laughs> I'm just waiting for a flip. This is amazing. Meta commentary. This is art, and I love it. But I don't see the flip. The roles are flipped. I just didn't say it. Also, flipping doesn't necessarily mean flipping upside down. I'm gonna give three points for the script for the content, for the meta-ness, but I cannot give it five points because nothing is upside down, chat. From Kants. Now I do this every week. <laughs> is he gonna drive to fucking another place and watch a soccer match? Bob going on a road trip. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with this. So stands, this week I've decided to flip the paradigm and this for the first week is the first Team <laughs> Holy shit, I did not expect that. Why and Eagle and Kant together? <laughs> so, we are going to be flipping something, but what does flip mean? Well, I've actually gone and got the best businessman in the business to tell him. Donald Trump? As well as you So, as you can see... <laughs> it's just you! So, what I did try and do is get hold of Itriok, but he was too busy. <laughs> That's why you guys got to watch my shows. So flipping an item in terms of business sense is when you purchase an asset with a short holding time yeah. with the intent on selling it again. Yeah. Oh, amazing, Adriel. So good. Adrian. Thank you so much. Really Honestly. thanks for helping us. I know, I know you don't really know us, but thanks for not just donor walling us and thanks for helping <laughs> us. Yeah, you... That's so funny they recorded it before. We're going to be flipping this legally distinct can of Pringles. Wow. So flip Delicious. something upside down. Our legally stick kind of Pringles has now officially been flipped upside down. Most surprising thing that is upside down now wins. So let's go flip it. Yeah. Oi! Don't buy this. Uh, okay. Two quid. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is how I feel every YouTuber looks when they're like doing IRL content. I think it's working. Open it then. Have a crisp. <laughs> Eat your Pringles. <gasps> wow. That was pretty surprising. How surprising. <laughs> there, there was a, there was a snake. There was a snake in the Pringles. The Pringles. It wasn't. It was not. It was. It was surprising. Not because it was Pringles. It was surprising because there was a snake in the can. The flipping was fine by selling it, but. It didn't end up upside down through that flip. It did end up upside down pre-snake. 
It was a very surprising object because there was a snake. They did flip it twice. I'm giving zero points for the flip and the big A donut wall because they didn't flip it upside down. They flipped it, I assume positive. Two quid for Pringles. I don't know how much fucking Pringles cost. But it was a very surprising object that did end upside down. I'm going to give them three points for a surprising object and because they had to get donut walled by HRAC live on stream. Here we are. It is 7 a.m. Uh, I have gotten here four hours before we open up. Uh <laughs> What? So that way I can flip everything upside down. Uh, I work in a convenience store on a college campus. Okay. Uh, and I'm just I'm just gonna flip everything upside down. There's no bit. Uh, worst case scenario, you know, like my boss or someone comes in, gets mad, fires me, and then I flip my life upside down. So you know, that's probably at least like two points, right? So let's get started. Oh my! He's there four hours before they open. <laughs> Even the ones in the back. This is taking a lot fucking longer than I thought it was. Going to. <laughs> Uh, and we open in, because I've been here what, three and a half hours, I open it in about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna try and get everything else done, uh, but I might have to switch the pictures instead of video. Customers are in the store at this point, and you're still flipping things upside down, and they're staring at you. This man risked getting fired for a stupid internet meme show. You know, just under eight hours. Uh, I thought I would get this done in four. This became a lot more skill intensive than I expected it to be. You flipped an entire convenience store. You spent hours of your life, and that's why. I'm giving you six points. I'm giving you six points. What the fuck? You went into work four hours early. You flipped everything upside down. You did not finish. You kept doing it while the customers were there. That's the kind of shit that I like to see. I like when someone flips an entire store upside down. There you go. Six. Points are on screen. This is the final updated list. We have noticed the Z, the first time, two-time winner, with 10 points. In second place, Danes against third place, Jacob, 4K Jacob, fourth place, Truthman, fifth place, Jonathan Shorter. Chat, I have an update on the season leaderboard, and if you liked that duo task, you are going to love the podium because they are in second and third with 50 and 49. Jonathan Shorter has 51 points, and he is a leader in task manager drake's in chat for jonathan shorter he didn't win this week notice the z did he is slowly catching up with 46 points there is a five point gap between sixth and first if you want to compete in task manager we're going to have new tasks out today on my twitter twitter.com slash nathan stands i will give you a link chat i am going to get out of here because i have taken up ludwig's streaming room for a long time